Good day everyone, this is Jonathan, Geomatic Consultant for GeoPlus. In this video, I'll show you how to extract braid lines from a LiDAR file. First of all, let's go to the LiDAR last file menu where the LiDAR is processed. Now let's open the browser to get the file we want. In here, I'll take the last file, but we could also take text file. This file has nice structure in it, a good choice for this presentation. Now the open last file button initialize the parameter with the file we just chosen. Next step is to set the parameters. First we'll set the density to 100%. Since this is a sequential elimination, we should only diminish it to make preview of large files. Next we will enable the simplification which is needed for the line extraction. The simplification is guided by two constraints. The first one, the slope tolerance, is the maximum variation of slope between two adjacent triangles, which means that adjacent triangles with a slope variation higher than that will automatically be kept. The same goes for elevation tolerance, which means that if two adjacent points have a difference of elevation higher than this tolerance, they will automatically be kept. Now let's enable the line extraction. Usually when we extract lines, we want to simplify them to generate smoother edges. The first setting of the line simplification is the max deviation, which ensures that the mean variation of points that generate a segment is less than this value. The other parameter is the maximum variation between the point and its segment. Now that the settings are done, let's select the surface in which we'll import the points. Before we transfer the points and break line in the surface, let's see a quick preview of the LiDAR file. Now let's add the points in the surface, and as you will see in the preview, the quantity of points has greatly diminished. Now we'll open the surface in which the points and break lines has been transferred to. The triangulation in this case is not necessary since I just want to show you the break lines, but I'll do it anyway. What is more of interest here is that you can draw the lines that you extracted from your last file directly in your CAD file and the whole operation has just took less than 3 minutes. Here let me show you the surface that was generated from the simplified last file, with the break lines and all that. 